What's up guys, the Bajan and today I'm gonna be telling you five things you need to know before do buying the Traxxas X01, also as known the world's fastest ready to waste on road super cool. Okay, so right here I listed five things you need to know before buying it. Um this is based from my experience and things that I wish I knew before buying it, okay? So I'm going to be sharing some advice to help you out, okay? Um, number one, you will need a huge amount of space to drive it, which is difficult to find, all right? So, um, as you know, this is only an onward code. That means you can only drive it on road, okay? On street, okay? And a lot of the times, for example, in the daytime, they're last calls, you know, and it can be dangerous to drive because the call's coming. Or let's say you go, like, you go on the highway, you see, wow, this is a perfect place to drive the Trax X1, but the calls, you see. Or, like, when you go on the road, you know, where there are not many calls, they are, the space is too small. When you go in parking lots, the other space is perfect, but they cause. And sometimes they also a lot of gravel on the ground, you see? So you need to be careful of um, the gravel on the ground and make sure the whole surface is perfectly flat for the Trax X1. Because this is a call where when you have it, like you really need to look like, wow, is this a good space to drive the car? Is this a good space? place to drive the car. I need to look like from where the car is coming, uh, calculate when the car passes and stuff, like that, you know exactly when, um, exactly when to pass and stuff, okay? Um, and also, like, good places to drive it is like RC tracks, wheel, um, car tracks, Huge spaces like airports, um, which is pretty difficult to find. Um, also, like at night when they are when when on the busy street at night, there are less cars, so there that's also a good place. And where there's no people and stuff, that's a good place to drive. Okay, so number two. It's hard to drive. You need expert experience. Okay, yeah. So this is a car. You, it's hard to drive. It's like, like you will need to be careful that you like make sure that you you organize well in this Traxxas Link application here. You need to make sure that all of the adjustments are well to your driving settings and experience because it can really like fuck you up and. Like, just like, uh, I remember like when I was driving it the, for the first time, I wasn't used to the speed and stuff. It came towards me and I almost crashed into the wall, you see. And this is like really a car where you need a lot of space and like you need to control it slowly. You can't do big moves like that, okay? So yeah, that's something that you need to be careful of. And yeah, so make sure everything's set it up in your... Traxxas Link application before driving it, all settings installed and stuff, everything functioning well, make sure your your, your gear is well installed, like the, the wheels, make sure everything's tight, hardware and stuff, and software, make sure everything is really well tight, ready to run, okay? So, number three, it's faster than you think, okay? You see on the internet, you see on the screen, yeah, it's fast, you know, acceleration stuff. Um, it's amazing and stuff. Wow, it's really fast. But when you when you see a person, it's a whole different experience. It's like bigger than you think, faster than you think, more realistic than you think. It's like, in reality, it's amazing. It's like a whole different thing, all right? So like... When you see things on the internet, you know, you see like crashes, you see like how fast it goes and stuff. It, it's like, they, they show it like, that goes so fast, you know. 
And when you have a person, you're driving yourself, it feels amazing having a fast car, driving a fast car in your hand. Like, it's amazing, you see? It's like a big machine. You're driving this big monster machine that goes more than 106 kilometers an hour. And it's just amazing to feel the acceleration of the car and stuff. It's like an amazing experience. Like, definitely, like, outstanding experience, okay? So, um... And another thing is, what you need to know is the acceleration. So when when you drive this car, you push just one-fourth of the throttle like this here, it'll already go like 60 kilometers an hour, like over 60 kilometers an hour. Like the acceleration is like vroom, 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 like, like boom. It's already like, I don't know, 200 meters away. And you didn't expect it to go 200 meters, you know. It's like, so the acceleration, be careful of how you push the accelerator button and how you set it in your settings of your software in toxic application okay so uh next one number four don't let unexperienced drivers test your car they'll crash it okay so basically this was something i had like i let a few people drive my rc car okay and they're not they're unexperienced okay this is an expert only okay and they really mean it okay you might be thinking it's a joke they really mean it it's like uh, people that are not used to on-road cars shouldn't even touch that X01, okay? Like, for example, like, especially on-road is harder than off-road, okay? It's logic, okay? Because it's on-road. It's like you, you are not allowed to go four-wheel drive, okay? So basically, like, they're not used to, like, when it comes to you, left is white and white is left. Uh, they're not used to the sensitivity of your car. They're not used to it, okay? So, like, letting someone, an unexperienced driver, drive it on a road, for example, you shouldn't let them, okay? But, for example, you can let them in a big parking lot, um, and you have your trainer mode installed, and you put the driver sensitivity really low, so it goes, like, maybe, like, maximum 30 kilometers an hour. Then you can allow them to drive it. Don't let them drive it on a road with the, the dirty four twist pinion gear, because it would be a disaster. They're not used to the acceleration it has, okay? So, yeah, that's something to keep in mind, okay? Now, by the way, my track X1 is in perfect condition, or just a tiny crash off the road, okay? And another thing is, um, for example, like, you see, like, for example, let's say here there's, like, a wall, and you let an uh, unexperienced driver drive your X01, just, for example, let's say they're not used to the reflex of the throttle and the uh, brake sensor, so once they push it, woo, it will accelerate, boom, and they might crash into the wall, you see? It's like something that unexperienced or field drivers are not used to, so, yeah, just keep that in mind, okay? Um, so, number five, safety is your responsibility. You will need mobile device to set your driving skills, okay? So, safety is your responsibility, okay? That's like a big recap of everything. Uh, you will need to like, like make sure everything's perfectly installed. Make sure all of the stuff or like um, all of the stuff are well installed, and also make sure that you drive in safe areas, as I told you before. Okay, and etc. 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 Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the, my video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Social media links in the description and peace out.